School of Excellence celebration at Mojia. Teachers, students, administration, staff, parents, and our elected officials. You are the reason we are an Inglo school once again. This is me. We have some representation here today uh, from our special events department that have played an integral part in our school's success. We also have the support of elected officials that are with us here today. Council member Paul Hernandez has been an enormous support. And now, now, we're, now we're up here uh, physically today, but uh, a lot of the things that we have accomplished here we, we owe a lot of gratitude, our expansion, our school's growth, the opportunity to be able to have students from this community participate in this type of program. You know, our mayor, Carlos Hernandez, that has been a humongous supporter. We have Building 2, we have Building 3, and, and we may unveil a future surprise uh, in the next years to come. And the rest of the council has been very supportive as well. So let's give them a round of applause. Some, some of the things that you guys that you guys not, may not be aware of, but uh, you know, our schools are also a business, and there's a lot of behind the scenes things that that go on, and a lot of support, educational support that is given to us. And we have Danny Diaz that is representing Academica and all the schools that they support. <laughs> so again, uh, with that being said. This is today's celebration and our celebration. But there's something that really, really stood out to me. You know, our scores were phenomenal this year. You know, it was a challenging year last year. We went through a lot of barriers, a lot of hoops, and then, you know, as this team is, is waiting for the day to come in and you guys are enjoying your summer, you know, we're here working hard, waiting for the school grades to come out, looking at those scores, and after an arduous and challenging year, scores are released. Not only were we an A school, but we even became a higher A school than the year before. So no matter what barriers, what challenges you may have in the future, you know, there's no limits to what Cohia can accomplish. And obviously that's a testament and the hard work of your teachers, your faculty, your staff, your administration, your parents, your community leaders, and of course at the end, yourselves. The, uh, I'm gonna pass the microphone, but you know, we had three students, and this is a very hard, a hard, hard thing to accomplish. We had three students with a perfect score that got the highest score possible in these assessments, and I'm gonna pass it uh, to Nicole, and she's gonna recognize those students. These kids got the highest score. Like, there's no score higher than this, and. Three of your three of your classmates, three of, of the members of your Bulldog family were able to accomplish that. And again, I'm gonna pass it to Nicole and she's gonna bring those students up to be recognized. We would like to recognize our fellow Bulldogs for earning a perfect score on a state exam that took place in the spring of 2019 administration. Bulldog family, please help me welcome ninth grader Adrian Sabatia for the FSA Eighth grade. Eighth grader, Elliot Rodriguez. Hi, 
Let's give him a round of applause. Congratulations. I'd like to bring up um, um, Council Member Paul Hernandez. You can come up here, sir. And if Council Member Hernandez is going to join us, but it is, uh, listen, you know, you, you, you've seen and you saw in the Kahoot game that we played today, um, one of the questions was, word um, can you describe um, what this school feels like and, and thank God the majority of the answers were family but this school is a family and and really an extension um, of the culture here has been not the partnerships because um, when it's a partnership it's business related but more like the relationships that have been built and and there has been a Aside, like just like Council Member uh, Paul Hernandez has been an advocate for our school, there has been a champion. A champion that has uh, fought in the rings for Cohia um, every single year. And fought in the ring for, for Cohia because there was a dire need. You know, there are schools across our county that are at 50% capacity, half, which means half the building is, is full. Schools at 70 something capacity, and, and we have a champion in our ring that we're at 100% capacity. I mean, if there's a shed, there's a classroom in there in our school. But this, this gentleman has been a champion for our school and our continued growth because people keep knocking on the door. Parents understand the quality education that their child is receiving here. Parents are understanding that that's what we will deliver, and, and this gentleman has been a champion. And if it weren't for him, there wouldn't be nearly a thousand students at Cohia because he's, he has worked at the state level with legislators and state representatives and state senators and all the way with the governor to be able to, be able to bring additional funding to Cohia so we can expand our programs and expand our school and give more opportunities to students like the one sitting to the left and to the right of you. So with that, without further ado, I'd like to give a big bulldog welcome. Welcome our Senator, Manny Diaz Jr. Thank you for those kind words, Mr. Alvarez, but I know that this, this, uh, this school here has a special place in our community and it is because it is a family. And it starts with your leadership, but if you look around the room, it's the parents, it's the teachers, the administration, the cafeteria workers, the security, the police officers, the firefighters that make this school home for every one of you. So how about a round of applause? How about the Bulldogs? So one of my favorite events every year is to come here and be able to present with an A-plus flag. And so we're here today because of the incredible work that you have done, that the parents have done, that the teachers, the staff, and everybody else here has done. And so we're here to celebrate because we ask a lot of you, so I think it's also important to make sure that we stop for one moment and celebrate that. And we're going to do that here today. But first, Mr. Alvarez, I would like to present you with something. So, Mr. Alvarez, I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate you on being designated an A school by the Florida Department of Education. I know that, your, that for your school to achieve greatness, it takes a strong partnership between the administration, teachers, parents, and students, the boots on the ground, so to speak. Please know that your dedication and efforts in providing our children with a high quality education has not gone unnoticed, and your leadership and vision has given exemplary results. Thank you for all you do for the for students of the City of Hialeah Education Academy. Thank you for all you do for the City of Hialeah and the community here in Hialeah. This goes for you and your staff. with this leadership award from the Florida Senate in recognition for your outstanding leadership, dedication, and hard work, generosity, and vision on behalf of the students of Cohia for the 2018-19 school year. And I know that you're going to share
share that with your staff. But this, let's get to the main event. Why are we here today? So, Councilman, if you would join me in unfolding this flag so we can pronounce and celebrate once again that the City of Hialeah Educational Academy Bulldogs are an A-plus school. And just by the very fact that you come here every single day, whenever someone asks you, what school do you go to, you, you have the liberty to say, I come from a grade A school of excellence. And that sounds awesome. And not everyone, not everyone has the ability to do that. And Senator Diaz, Senator Diaz said that he looks forward to coming here every year. And again, it's something that you guys have to realize. It's not tradition for most schools to celebrate. It isn't tradition for most schools to celebrate another A plus year after year. It's not normal for most schools to look forward to every single year doing this because this isn't supposed to be a common practice. This is a high level to attain, but you guys do it every single year. So for that, you all have to be proud of where you come from, of your administration, and of everything that you guys do every single year. On behalf of our mayor, of the council, we serve as the board of directors for this school, but quite frankly, we let the educators educate and do their thing. They've been doing really, really well all these years. On behalf of the, the school, all the residents of Hialeah, our mayor and our, and our council, congratulations to you guys, you deserve it. 